Keanu Reeves here who joins us in the man cave. Nice job, McLevin. You see what I work with here? I mean, you've, you've you have a lot of support. Yeah, I, I do. You have a lot not, of support. Not good support here. All right, where do you want to start here? Because we're going to dive right into our favorite movies. Now, we can okay. talk about 47 Ronin, your new yeah, movie. Yeah, we could do that. Epic, epic uh, journey of revenge, honor, impossible love, 3D. Seton saw the movie yesterday, and he oh, yeah? said the 3D, cool. it, it kind of, there's a scene with a dragon, a, a, yeah. a dragon woman, and he's... Fire yeah. coming at you, yeah. and sort of, whoa. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Yeah. But do you like, do you feel like you're an athlete? Do you have to be an athlete to make those movies? Um, certainly athletic. Um, you know, in, in that in that film, in films of the past, I've had the chance to do what I call movie kung fu. Um, you know, and a lot of running and jumping and some fighting. And, uh, yeah, you know, it, it certainly is in terms of the training. And then also I think that moment, because you, you do all of this preparation, and then they say action. And it's like you have to be there at that moment, which I think is very familiar to athletics and sports. But know? if you look at all your movies here, yeah. uh, Matrix, yeah. how athletic do you think you were on the Matrix? Matrix. Uh, that was pretty, you know, it was training from 9 in the morning until 5 at night, two hours of stretching, kicking, punching. Um, and then you're filming, you're filming 12 hours a day. Uh, there's a sequence in the second one that was shot for 17 days, 12 hours a day. Wait, one, um, one sequence? Yeah, there's a fight in, uh, in Reloaded where I fight the Smiths, and I had uh, 532 moves to, to do. I had uh, 17 wires. Um, it's pretty hardcore. And then, of course, you're doing all of the takes, so, I mean, I would do some stuff that, like, 90 takes just to try and get it super perfect. And then you did uh, replacements, uh, point break. There's athleticism in there as well. Yeah, there was some running and jumping and jumping out of airplanes <laughs> and uh, surfing and, uh, yeah, some good fights. But do you realize how much of a cult following point break has? Yeah, yeah. The past year, year and a half, it seems like there's it's going through a little renaissance of some kind. But I heard there's a dinner theater yeah, you, you, you explain can, this to me. Yeah, you go to a place and they put on Point Break and, and they pick someone from the audience if they want and uh, you can be Johnny Utah. And then they and it's interactive, you know, so they have cue cards, they go through the whole film, you get to say I'm, you know, I'm an FBI agent. Um, <laughs> and all that good fun stuff that Point Break has. But do know? they but you, you, they throw water on you to simulate. I, I haven't the seen ocean. the show, but yeah, they, you go. Through, yeah, they throw water at you. You know, you get some gunplay. How, how about how great would it be if you went? I know I should to play that. Johnny Utah. I should do that. <laughs> I should do that. I, I, I've thought of that. I know other. Um, uh, I think um, Catherine Bigelow, the director, yes. had gone, and I believe Patrick Swayze went. Do you did you realize when you work with Catherine Bigelow of just how great she was when she went on to do what Hurt Locker and Zero Dark Thirty. Yeah, absolutely. She was um, she's a force. Uh, she was really um, inspiring, and the energy that comes off of Point Break. You know, I mean, I've met so many people over the years who were like, you know, I, I jump out of airplanes because I saw Point Break. <laughs> I surf because I saw Point Break. You know, we haven't had the I rob banks because I watched Point Break. But it really has inspired a lot of people to, 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 to those activities. And, you know, Catherine Bigelow really with the camera, the cinema, putting people in it. You know, Patrick Swayze during while we were filming had over uh, 30 jumps out of airplanes. And then he got rest, some of the other cast to start jumping out of airplanes. And then eventually they were jumping out of airplanes so much that the production went to the, the insurance company heard about it. And they're like, cease and desist. <laughs> Stop jumping out of airplanes. Uh, um, how would you rate the football scene at the beach? Uh, I'd give it a solid in terms of what? I think as a scene, it's pretty cool. How about your tackle? I mean, you were headhunting. The NFL would fine you for that hit. Kid. I know. That'd be illegal now. <laughs> you know, that was a cool moment because, you know, um, Swayze was like, okay, you know, you're going to have to catch me. And you're going to have to do that. And I was like, okay. How many takes? Uh, that one, we only did three because I, I got him. <laughs> <laughs> did you taunt him after you got him? Uh, no, you don't taunt Swayze. Oh, no. you don't? <laughs> no, 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 no. He's no, ultra no. competitive. He's, he's, he's there right now all the time. You know, he's a beautiful, he was a, a beautiful man with a wonderful spirit. And, uh, you know, that was part of the, 
the joy of making that film. And that night, you know, it was like car headlights. People were in a great mood. We're playing football on the beach. You know, we're doing this crazy story. And it's uh, it was real and hyper real. And then uh, I had to catch him. Did that scene help you at all for the replacements that they looked at you and said, maybe we could have you as the quarterback for the replacement? <laughs> Did they check out your arm strength there? Oh, my God. Uh, no, the, yeah, I'd say in the beach scene, that throw is not so great. But, um, uh, yes. I mean, I think <laughs> all of our past experiences help inform our present and our future, right? Oh, oh you went deep there. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't help it. But when, you, when they said replacement, what, what was the hard part of the replacements? Um... The tone, actually, the comedy of it, you know, just trying to get the right tone for the film. Um, in terms of, like, you know, training or playing the football, it was, uh, you know, I really enjoyed I mean, it made me wish that I had played quarterback in high school. But you work with Rick Neuheisel on, I, on both of those, on Point Break and Replacement? No, or? just on, uh, on, on Point Break. Okay. Yeah, he had some uh, teaching to do there. He said that he, <laughs> um, he had his work cut out. Uh, teaching you how to throw a football. Yes, indeed. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. But I, but I got it. I got it. But Wait. I mean, but by the time we got to the replacements, it was, it was, it was getting pretty good. You know, I could do fifty yards and, and all that sort of really? stuff. Really? Yeah. I mean, it was interesting for me. It was fun. I mean, I, you know, the camaraderie amongst the actors. You're going through the training. You know, they. I was playing with real football players, college players, ex pros. And, you know, um, in terms of training, you know, you're getting, you had to run certain plays and there was like the first team, second team, and then um, playing the first team, you know, we started to kind of get our rhythms together. And I remember uh, um, I was playing and, and, I, and we had this one sequence to run and it was just a, it was a crossing route and I had to get it and I had to roll out to the, my right and make the pass. And this is like three weeks into it and I'm missing the play. I'm like, I'm just missing the pass. And the lineman is like, look, my center looks at me and goes, come on, Reeves. Like, what the? F I can't swear, right? <laughs> no, right? no, you, you shouldn't. Right? Because yeah, the yeah. lineman had to do all this work. <laughs> and they were like, they were pissed off at me. Like, make the throw, Reeves. So we could. And then the, the gentleman who was helping me training goes, you know, that's really cool. And I go, why? He goes, they're treating you like a quarterback. That's true. Like, get it together, man. Stop. But but you're a hockey guy. I am a hockey guy. Oh, I grew up playing hockey. Yeah, a lot but, of hockey. But how good? Because it's always like the further you get away, the older you get, the better you were. Like people say, I oh, was awesome. He was the next <laughs> Gordy Howe. Well, in in my senior year in high school, I got the MVP. Um, uh, I mean, I played a lot. Of, I was a goaltender. Um, started playing when I was like six years old. Um, so yeah, I played high school and then I had a tryout, uh, for junior B team and a junior A, major junior A, uh, Windsor Spitfires. Um, and so I was at, kind of at a crossroads actually when I was in senior in high school playing for Dilla Salas, senior goaltender there. Um, and, uh, I remember I, I was doing a play. I was doing, um, I was, uh, uh, The Crucible by Arthur Miller and it was like a cool night. I was, I was, I was playing John Proctor. And then in the front row, the two front rows was the hockey team. Like the guys came out to see the, you know, the play. And it was like, I, for me, it was like hockey. Because I always wanted to, I want, actually wanted to play on the Olympic team. And, uh, and so it was like hockey, acting, hockey, acting. And then acting won. He's uh, Keanu Reeves, the movie uh, 47, Ronan. Uh, when's it come out? Uh, it's coming out Christmas Day. Christmas Day. Yeah. Uh, but when you're talking about the choose between being an actor, if I said you could be goaltender, Stanley Cup winning team, uh, or win an Academy Award. Uh, Academy Award, hands down. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to give you Best Supporting Academy Award, <laughs> not Lead Actor, or your Grant Fuhr. Uh, you know, I still, it's it's, you know... Acting is my passion. Oh, Acting is my life. <laughs> yeah, that would be. I Were mean, you it, acting right there, talking about your acting? <laughs> I'll never know. <laughs> All right, we'll uh, we'll take a break. We'll come back. I got to ask him if he's ever stepped on a bus since he did Speed, and what would you do if you were on the bus if Keanu Reeves steps on it? If I see Sandra Bullock anywhere in the picture, I am off that damn bus. We'll continue with Keanu Reeves. The movie is Forty Seven Ronin. It's uh, opening nationwide Christmas Day.
The movie is 47 Ronin in 3D, <laughs> opens nationwide. Christmas Day, Keanu Reeves joining us, New York City Man Cave. Good morning. I heard your uh, nickname was The Wall in high school. <laughs> Being a goaltender, is that true? Uh, yeah, I had that, that moniker. For oh, a, a did you give bit. yourself that nickname or did somebody else? No, you can't give I yourself know that nickname. Hi, I'm the wall. <laughs> <laughs> well, unless you're Roger Wal Waters of uh, Pink Floyd. Right. You know, he could say that. Yeah, because you are then the wall. Yes. Yeah, and then some. Yeah. 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 No, you can't. I mean, I think giving yourself nicknames is kind of wacky. Could you work in the, an environment like this? Like, just take a summer off, not do any movies, and just hang and, and, and do something like this? Yeah, it doesn't look like uh, people are suffering here that much. They don't work that hard. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're playing ping pong. Yeah, yeah, like, I hear there's simul driving simulators. Do you have a man cave? Uh, I don't. So at your place in Los Angeles? Yeah, there's no man no cave. No man cave. Um, do you want one? Uh, well, I mean. I can help you. Yeah, you can hook me up. I hook know, a brother up. I know people. Tony Saragusa uh, has a show, DIY Man Caves. Oh, really? I'll send him over there to... A professional? Yes. What would your wow. dream man cave be? Oh, my god. What would you want in there? You know, you know, with the way that I'm working and the way things, I'm just, I'm just looking for, you know, some quiet, some silence, time to reflect, to read, you know. So no flat screens or anything like that. Okay, I've got flat screens. Okay. Come on, I'm not crazy. Okay. Yeah, I don't, yeah. But you're looking for zen. Uh, yeah. Peace. You know, because you know, it's uh, you can go over to friends' houses and visit <laughs> some man caves, do man cave things. I I noticed this that you did Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure and mm. Dangerous Liaisons at the same time. Uh, or back to back? No, that was close. Yeah, I had this crazy time. Where how was, how could you pull that off of those two roles? Um, it was a wonderful opportunity, and uh, I was glad to be there. But because after that, I mean, you have, it's like, it's like, I did the sequel to Bill, uh, yes, at that time, yes, it was that, that series. I was, I'm sorry, I was going to go to the sequel of Bill and Ted, because then it was that, it was my own private Idaho, and that, well, it was actually Point Break, and then my own private Idaho. Private Idaho was deep. That was deep. Deep, dark. Yeah. And River Phoenix, awesome. Beautiful, beautiful spirit. Yeah. But if you you go back and look at Bill and Ted's, yeah, what stands out? Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> but do people come up and they have to ask you to say, "Hey, can you say whatever line from a movie?" Right. It's probably Bill and Ted's, right? Uh, what do I get? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Excellent. You're cringing at this, aren't you? I, a little bit. <laughs> no, I love those guys. I mean, I love Bill and Ted. You know, it was a, it was a, they're, they're wonderful characters. They have, you know, the, the, the life, the naivete, but the joy of life, the eternal, impossible innocence that those characters Kind of like have. my guys here. It's, it resembles that. Yeah. Yeah, I can feel that. I feel like I'm holding up dead guys, too, all the time. <laughs> Just these guys here. The, the criticism you get that, let's say, an athlete would get, to an actor. Right, sure. Is there is there a difference there when, when you're critiqued? As I mean, athletes get critiqued every day. Right. How do you shake it off when you get critiqued? Uh, drink. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just keep going. Yeah. But you're working on something for six months. Yeah. And all of a sudden it comes out. And gets dismissed. Yes. And then you just get harpooned. You get just, yeah. It's like, yeah, it's awful. Yeah, I hate it. Yeah. You know, and, and you know, you hope that people enter, uh, enjoy what you do, and um, when they don't, um, it's always a drag. And then when you get harpooned, it's like, really? Okay. When's the last time you were on a bus? Uh, last time I was on a bus. It's been a while. And not getting paid to being on a bus. Oh, it's been, yeah. Since then, uh, a few times. But wouldn't it be funny? I usually take the subway. But if you but... walked on a bus... Don't you think it'd be funny just to see people's reaction? <laughs> oh, my God, it's that guy on the <laughs> bus. <laughs> Why couldn't you and Sandra Bullock just walk on a bus one time? And just I know, that would be awesome. It? That would be awesome. And a just, funny or die. Right, oh, yeah, yeah, and just have, like, yeah, right, yeah, under, undercover cameras, just yeah, Sandra and I just <laughs> on the bus hanging out. Yes. Holding hands. Yes, right? yes. And then just people going, really? What? Wait, Is, what? Speed, huh? speed three? What? What? Is it speed four? What's I, going on? I lost track. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then we'd have to have the bus attacked or something. 
And then we could do blanks. Like I could pull, draw a weapon and yes. shoot some people. Yes. And she and should go talking. kick some ass. She should Maybe. try to escape. And How about point break meets speed? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Whoa. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> the movie comes out Christmas Day. What am I going to take away from 47 Ronin? I would say that it's, even though it's a film really of, of sacrifice, it's a film about honor. It's a film about home. You know, fighting for one's home, one's honor, one's place. And I think it's uh, really life-affirming, you know, to, to kind of the preciousness of life and the preciousness of home. Man, you got deep on me. It's, a, you know. There's some ass-kicking in there, too, though. Yeah, there's lots of that. Lots of that. Yeah, I mean, it, the film's got, you know, scale, scope, um, and big themes. But it's really an intimate story that I feel like everyone can relate to. Great ending. There is a yeah. great ending. Yeah, it's a very romantic yes. ending. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. Uh, you're welcome anytime in the man cave. Thank you, you know, Mr. Patrick. Anytime you come into New York, yeah, you want to, you just like jonesing for hanging out with guys who are real, <laughs> who are going to be honest with you. Stupid. Awesome. Go drinking with you. Cool. More than happy to be able to do a that. Pleasure, sir. Smoke Thank cigars. You. Really? Yes. Wow. We okay. can do it all. <laughs> we make up our own rules. The Dan Patrick Show. The movie is 47 Ronin. It opens up nationwide Christmas Day. I told you we were big fans. Thank you, sir. Hopefully we didn't offend you too much. Not at all. A pleasure. And if you're the wall, I'm going five hole every single no, time. No, you don't on. stand a he chance, shoots, Patrick. He scores! No way, man. The Dan Patrick Show. Weekday mornings on Audience.